everyone, <clears throat> welcome to Tutorial Tuesdays and today we're going to be talking about autumn leaves. So just as a disclaimer, this is in C, C minor, uh, the, the way that I just played it. Uh, it's originally in G minor, but autumn leaves is one of those jazz tunes that you, you take through all keys. So we're going to be talking about it mostly in C minor today, but as usual I encourage you to play it in a lot of different keys. <clears throat> so I'm going to break that down for you. So. First things first, we got the melody and the bass, the two fundamental things that we need to learn before we add on to that. So, melody. There it is. Yeah, so I'll do it again. So pretty simple bass line. And you do the same thing again. Bridge. That's the general idea, so... tone sub there at the end. Instead of playing a G, I played a D flat. So, now to go over some of these voicings, we got, uh, let's see, C minor. This is a good voicing for C minor chords in general. So make note of that. If I'm going to play the melody and the chords at the same time, then uh, I like to typically play the melody with my pinky and play the chords with spread out between both hands underneath. So for example, Thank you. 
So this is somewhat of an advanced lesson, um, or rather intermediate lesson. We're not getting into any like advanced, super advanced jazz concepts, just because you can go really deep with this tune. Um, it's a tune that's been done a zillion different ways. Um, I, I definitely want to mention you should definitely listen to Wynton Kelly and Bill Evans. For example, those are two masters of, of the instrument. Um, but, but also, you know, there's a zillion other jazz recordings of Autumn Leaves. I like those two uh, the most, probably. Um, and so I definitely have a bias there. But definitely check those out if you want to get really, really deep into some soloing concepts for this tune. Um, and of course, Peter Martin on YouTube has a bunch of great stuff as well. So just to break down a couple more things that you can do with this tune, um, I left it out in my little cover, but there's some pretty cool uh, harmonic things you can do, like for example over C minor. Um, so I got that from Bill Evans. So, so like let's say uh, just playing these chords. You can kind of slip slip it in there every now and then. Or um, so if I was gonna play through it again, maybe I'll add a little bit more this time. Etc. 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 There's a lot of things you can do to soup up the harmony a little bit. Another thing I like to do is I'll play instead of just going F minor to uh, B flat seven, I like to go um, somewhat of a gospel thing, just a nice little walk down. So that that's just like a souped up two five one in general instead of just playing two. Yeah, try its own sub there. Play a C minor major seven there. Um, those are just a little bit, a little bit of concepts I like to throw in. And then of course, you know, uh, you may have noticed towards the end, I just wanted to demonstrate a little bit of a walking bass line. I used to walk bass lines all the time, but I've, I've kind of stopped um, to an extent because walking bass lines and soloing at a very, very high level is very difficult to do. And so lately I've been kind of focused more on just learning how to make good lines with my right hand, um, which is very difficult to do when you're creating lines in your left hand at the same time because bass lines are melodic and they're supposed to have smooth voice leading and a bunch of other things. But I'll demonstrate just how to walk bass lines a little bit. Um, in general, you, you need to have an understanding of what the bass is. So, so the basic, you're just trying to connect these dots in time. So one, two, three, four, one, two, general when you walk bass line you're focused on you're focused on quarter notes so for example so one two three four one two three four one so for example that's very smooth two So it ended up lining up very, very well. And so in general, I like to use combination of whole steps and half steps. Um, and then of course I use fourths and fifths just because those are very natural on bass because the bass is tuned in fourths. So 
one five one, so I could go. Or so. Yeah, etc. So. Etc. 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 So that's the basic baseline concept right there. I'm no expert by by any means on walking bass lines, but that's that's a, a decent place to get started. And of course, transcribe some bass lines. You can always listen to bass players and just try to pick out every single note that they play. Um, and I'm, and you'll learn a lot by doing that. I'm a huge advocate for trans transposing. Uh, tunes and transcribing tunes as it's something I'm doing more and more of as I mature in my musicianship um, because it's just so useful like you, you try to avoid it for a little while but it's it's really essential tools that make you a much better piano player <clears throat> so so that's actually it for today's tutorial Tuesday episode thank you so much for watching and hope to see you next week